Anahita, you're looking to me like you maybe disagree with that. Well, Dr. Drew, before everyone starts attacking me on Twitter and even on this show, let me say I get the fact <laughs> that she's had three trials already. She was convicted in two, and now she's asking for a fourth trial. This is all on the taxpayer's dime. But news flash. The Constitution applies to everybody, even people we hate. And so she has a constitutional right to a fair trial. And if the defense can find facts or evidence to show that she didn't get a fair trial, then I think she, the court should grant the motion. Uh, if they can uh, find a generic, compelling no. interest. No, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's generic. What are, the, what are the specific grounds in this case that you have found that would warrant a new trial? If, if the defense can show there was some type of juror misconduct, some prosecutorial misconduct, if there's some new evidence, that the defense wasn't aware of at the time of the initial trial. I don't think it's clear, you know, what other grounds the defense is raising here, Mark, but I think you would agree that if that they have an ethical and even a legal duty here. I mean, their client is convicted Absolutely. of murder. Absolutely. Wait a minute, though. Life Let, in prison. Hang on. Absolutely. Hang on. You're going to appeal, I want to go to Lynn. I, this is what drives us all that are not legal people insane, because it sounds yeah, insane I'm a that you're... Exactly. Uh, Lynn, Lynn, is there anything to what Anita's saying? Lynn. Anahita, I appreciate you acknowledging the fact that this is on taxpayers' dime because this you, is Lynn. becoming a circus, a circus. Allowed to have a trial if, in fact, there was, like they were saying, a real issue that came well, up, a you real know what? fail on the court. Anahita, hang on, Jay. Apparently, we're going to talk to the attorney who spent a lot of time with her, and I think he's going to say she has other kids and is a good mom. i got to hear that. But oh, Anahita, what, well, we'll see. Anahita, what did you want to say? Well, I mean, I think that we're all just rushing to convict this woman, and we want to sentence her to death, Dr. Drew. The but jury the fact did. Of the matter, she was well, eight years. She's been, convicted, of, she's been convicted twice. Well, here's the twice. thing. Twice. Uh, <laughs> if you would let me finish, I would make my point. Please. Quick, mob, slow down. Look, the, two juries did convict her. <laughs> there was a mistrial in one, but guess what, Dr. Drew? None of the juries were able to sentence her to death. So obviously, I mean, this kind of reminds me of a small little case, the Jodi Arias case, but clearly there were some mitigating factors that those jurors considered. Either they believed the fact that she had no prior criminal I just record, want to stop she might go into being I just to want to stop bleeding taxpayer dollars for this case. That's all I'm saying. Guys, hold on a second. Next up, Anahita, you're nodding your head. Do you agree? I agree. Dr. Drew, I think Jody Arias is in a league of her own. I think she's like a level of psychoness that is beyond. Is psychoness even a medical term? I, well, I don't we'll know. We'll adopt but... it for the sake of this conversation. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just, she, yeah. she stabbed her boyfriend 29 times, slit his throat from ear to ear, shoots him in the head, and then drives to another state to have sex with another guy. I mean, I, I would venture to say that that is definitely 100 on the psychoness meter, Dr. Drew. <laughs> not something you would do, Anahita? Not, oh, not, not oh, an no. Saturday night? No. I don't think okay. so. <laughs> uh, now, CNN spoke recently to friends of both Jordan Graham and the newlywed husband, Cody. Comment, but, but hang on, but before I do, Jenny, I want to just double check my high school vocabulary. There, it's a jubilee of psychoness. Did I get it right, Anahita? Psychoness? That was perfect. So okay. we should no, add no, that to evidence. the Webster's Dictionary, just like tweet twerking. Okay. Twerking. Lynn, you have something more important yeah, to say. Yeah, that sounds straight out of the yearbook. Well, you know, I.